Well, my bag time. This box just arrived, which I'm a bit worried about, which is why I'm doing this one like right now because it looks awfully squashed. I'm really hoping what's inside it isn't broken. We'll open these up first and we'll see what's going on inside the box. So these are some header pins. Uh, so these single row straight. 2.54 millimeters. Another bag. I don't know what bags these things going to be in. <laughs> so these are some angled ones, like surface mount. So yeah, so these are surface mount headers. So if you don't do uh, SMD PCB, you can surface mount these, and then have your pin sticking out. I've got lots of straight pin ones, but these are the first surface mount ones I've got. Got projects in mind for that. I might even have to design a PCB for it. I think these might be the same ones, are they? Exactly the same, so two lots of those. Don't forget, there's always a bit of links down below if I can give you links. So this is something I got from eBay. So these chips are hard to find. And these are originals, brilliant. MC14553BC. These are hard to get. I managed to find five more. So I've got five more of them. Great, so now I've got a small selection. I think I'm good now. These chips, I think it's no longer made now. These weren't cheap. These ones are okay, but the postage was actually quite expensive. The postage was twice as much as the actual parts. But I've got them. Now these are used in the Sencor equipment. The LC77 uses this chip in it. It's one of the main, like it's kind of the heart of the whole unit. So these are very important chips. If these fail, that device is no good anymore. <laughs> I was worried about the unit that I had had one of these being faulty. Turns out that wasn't faulty, thankfully. But as a precaution, I've got a bunch of them. So now I've got a stock of these. I think I've got about half a dozen of them now. Yeah, I think I've got about six or seven of these things now. That's good. I don't need to get any more. That'll definitely do me for a long time, if not forever. So I'm not going to buy any more. Save some for somebody else. Might actually use a real knife on this one. It looks a bit harder to get into. It's a bunch of test clips. A whole bunch of IC test clips. Obviously quite old ones. So you've got a wider format, you've got the narrow format, different pin counts. So you've got 18, 20, 24, 40, 16. This is a cheaper one, it's like another 16. You've only got an 8. And you've also got a 28 as well. I've been meaning to get some of these for a while, but the price has always put me off. And I finally got to a point where it's like, well, I'm kind of really want some test clips. So I bought some. <laughs> Had a little card is showing which is actually supplied. Great, I've got a selection of test clips now. Surprisingly expensive. I don't know why they're so expensive. Is this the clip? Yeah, test clips. Great. So now when I'm working on stuff, it's going to be a bit easier to probe onto the pins because I can clip it onto the IC and there's less chance of shorting things out because I can clip onto these rather than potentially slipping between the IC pins. So I've been wanting to get for a long time, but the side of prices always put me off. I think I might need to use a real knife on this one as well. Let's see we go. Okay, a couple of ridiculously long screwdrivers. Um, I've been wanting to get some quite long ones for a while, and I saw these ones available. Thought, all right, I'm going to get some. I think I actually might have seen them on someone's YouTube channel, and I just followed the link. I think that's what I did. Looks like a number two. Six, yeah, number six by three hundred. It says there. Okay, and six by three hundred as well. I guess that's the shaft size then. All right, six mil by three hundred mil long. So I'll chuck a link down below for these as well. Sometimes you just really need a long screwdriver. They do come in handy from time to time. And I've actually made my own screwdrivers in the past. I actually had like a, a broken screwdriver and I actually welded the end of that shaft onto the end of another shaft so I had a long driver. I've still got that laying around somewhere. That was years ago. Anyway, um, yeah, so I bought some screwdrivers. Oh, it's funny, what's happening in this box, which is not at all done well. Look at this little clamps, it's all been squashed. Look squashed down, 
really hope it's not broken. These things won't cheap. Parts draw from J Car. These things are expensive. These things they used to be like twenty dollars each, maybe twenty five something like that, which wasn't too bad. They're now sixty dollars each. Sixty bucks. Horrendous price. But when you need them, you need them. That's the problem. Right. Let's see what else? It seems the box is split open as well. Hopefully, there's nothing missing. Just bag of bits lying around here. Okay, that's a little promising. 2S, uh, well, it says 2C 4518. That's what the, the labeling is. Let's inspect these for damage. I think we got away with it. There's no bits or there's no signs of breakage. It's on that one. Let's check this one out more thoroughly. No cracks on the back that I can see. Okay. Well, it survived it. That's good, but that's $120 worth of pastorals. I had to get some more because I've been reorganising some of the parts. Here, we have. This is um, uh, CD4518. These are in three one ones, and these are just some IC sockets, sixteen pin or fourteen pin, sixteen pin IC sockets. Just a few of them, just to stock up a little bit. I've been using some recently. Okay, those aren't too exciting. The main thing I wanted to do is get these drawers checked out, and here's an empty box. Why don't they put those inside the box? Yeah. Okay. At least they're not broken. That would have been disappointing. 